We must have held a dozen dogs at the Humane Society booth after the rescue. One of them, the last one we held, was a Chihuahua Yorkie mix, just over three pounds, eight years old, hair overgrown and matted, malnourished, exhausted from the ordeal he'd been through, and obviously frightened at this strange new world he'd been thrust into. Out of 103 rescue dogs, this one had a yellow collar which bore his number. He was number 90 and we introduced him to the first real home he'd ever had. We threw away the yellow collar, and we gave him a name. We called him Henry. Henry could barely see through all the matted hair, and so we bathed him and trimmed him and brushed him and gave him a clear view of his new surroundings, including his new roommate. We had the veterinarian look him over thoroughly, and he was still so exhausted and overwhelmed by everything he'd been through, he almost fell asleep right there, standing on top of the vet's table. But he didn't fuss about all the poking and the prodding. It's like he was thinking that anything was better than what he'd come from. Henry had a lot of anxiety. He would pace nervously, almost robotically, which I've since learned is common with dogs rescued from puppy mills. It's like he was making sure that we weren't going to leave him, we weren't going to abandon him. We were always within his field of vision. He always had to be touching us. He would put a paw up or lean up against us or just climb up and collapse in our laps, keeping us close. The blended family thing didn't exactly get off to an amazing start. For the first time, our existing dog got an education about that little thing called sharing. He could almost see it on her face. Who is this stranger? What's going on here? But the clumsy start gave way to a kind of brother-sister coexistence as they got to know each other, and slowly but surely every day, they're becoming friends. And more than that, Henry has learned what it's like to be a member of a family. I won't try to tell you about everything that's happened over these past few weeks. I think Henry's face pretty much says it all. Sometimes, when you and I look at the cruelty in this world, it feels like we can't really make a dent in it. It's just too much. Our contributions are just too little. And then you see stories like this one. You see little number 90. And you realize that there really are no little things. Just a little time, a little care, a little love can change someone's world. And when you least expect it, they can also change yours.